Hi fellow webblers! So in this tutorial I'm very excited because you're going to be learning to implement the JavaScript library called Siemma. Siemma is a JavaScript library for slides. So you have a preview and next button you can drag to scroll to your next slide. This is extremely useful if you for example want to share a testimonial section or an image slider or anything really that includes a slider which is fully responsive and easy to use. And I will show you right now how you can implement this JavaScript library inside of Webflow. So first thing to implement the JavaScript library Siemma is you gotta build the structure. And what's really important is that you have a section obviously and I have set the tag to section. And now is you have a wrapper that's called Siemma. It's a class of Siemma. And inside of the Siemma class, you have your slides. For my example, I've got three slides, but it's up to you how many you want to have. And below the Siemma wrapper, you've got the C button wrapper. So that's basically just a wrapper where I put two buttons inside. So we have the preview next. And what you see right here is that's actually a code. So, because Siemma only works with real buttons, and you may not know that, but the Webflow buttons aren't really buttons. When you create a button inside of Webflow, it basically creates an A tag, and that's uh, somehow looking like that. That's an A tag, and that is creating um, the button. But for a real button, you would need to have a button and not an A tag. So what you basically do is you create this code, and I will put every code on the Notion, on the Webflow ecosystem, where you can get it and clone it and use it however you like. So you basically have a button or two buttons and one button that's called preview or a class with preview and one with next. And how did I style that? So you don't have to style this in the code, obviously. Mm, what you have to do is for creating a button, just go and get the button. And then you can style this button however you like. So like just for me, I have the class button and that's the styling of my button. So then I just get the class right here, the button class, and then it looks like that. So don't worry, you don't have to style something in the code. But just very, very important, we have to set the class. So first preview and next, next slide. Okay, so that's it for the HTML and CSS. Next up is the code for the Siemma library. So to implement the Siemma library, you've got many different options, but one option is probably the best and that's what I've got right here. So first thing you have is the CDN and I will put everything inside of the description. You can just clone it and use it however you like, but I will explain right now, right here. So first thing is the CDN. And after that, here are some, yeah, some, some modifiers. So what you can do with these modifiers is actually you could, if you wanted to, um, change the class of the selector. So you could, I mean, you could say, I don't want that to be CM, I want it to be um, Webflow. I, that's up to you, but I just let it be like CM. The duration is the duration, how long it takes for the next slide to appear. So I just let that at 400. The easing is ease out in my case, but you can obviously change that. You can also change the per page. So you could say these are two per page and then it would display two per page and would go ahead for two. But I just leave left it at one per page. Star index is not important. Draggable true is that you can drag it. Multiple drag, drag should also be true if you um, have more per page. It's so important, loop false, RTL false, and some other attributes that you don't, that you don't need. 
Then, the more important things right here below that are the preview at the next. So these, these codes right here trigger the buttons to next or preview the slide. So that's important to keep in mind and yeah, get that code and copy it inside of it. Okay, so to show you that, I could, for example, um, set the easing to one second. And if I publish that, and then refresh the page. You can see that it takes a little bit longer than before. But that's completely up to you. You can change the easing, can change the behavior, up to you. And that's what makes this library so cool because we have so many different options to choose and they're all useful. All right, so now we know how you can implement the JavaScript library called Siemma inside of Webflow. I hope this tutorial was valuable to you. If it was, please leave a like and subscribe to not miss out any valuable feature content for Webflow. We also got a newsletter where we cover best use practices, SEO techniques for Webflow specifically. So you might want to check it out, pretty useful. The link will also be inside of the description. If you've got any questions regarding Webflow code, right now what we have is WhatsApp support. So I think for one week till this video will be uploaded, we have one week left of WhatsApp support for free, WhatsApp free expert support. So I will put the number for that also inside of the description if you've got a question with Webflow that you just cannot answer. So check that out, pretty useful. So we see each other in the next Webflow video and till then, happy coding. <laughs>